Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Moltrap here. Game four of Group F, the losers match. <clears throat> group F, the losers match of this round of, I'm sorry, this group of the MSL, the round of 32. And this is Firefest. He, he showed it showed them there as going by the name Sense. That's his um, that's his uh, nickname these days, I guess. Um, and I got to admit, he he had some good sense. He had some uh, pretty smart play in game one. Um, so he just kind of got counteracted by the huge, massive ball of stuff that was set out by Huashin. And uh, whenever there's a base trade situation going on, the Terran is almost always going to have the advantage, um, in my experience. So Huashin had Lings and Mutas in his base, and I'm actually surprised that the Mutas were gone when they checked back there later. And I, I'm really surprised that so that was a lot of Lings and Mutas. So I'm I'm really startled that. It didn't do more damage, but um, didn't happen. Firefist's attack did not do as much damage, and Huashin overran his defenses. Ultra is coming out at just a moment too late. Um, if he'd had a couple more Ultras and they'd been a little bit sooner, he might have been able to hold that off, but just didn't happen. Anyway, <clears throat> so Jangbi is now. Uh, Jangbi had the cannon rush uh, fail got behind as well and he ended up getting killed off by zero so here he is in the losers match as well the loser of this game is eliminated the loser is eliminated and the winner of this game will go on to phase zero in the final match uh, to see who advances in the number two spot from this group so um, a lot on the line here uh, I don't think either of these players are in the OSL I'm pretty sure they aren't so this is it. This is this this see this season's Star League is on the line for both these players at the moment. Um, although I don't honestly think that either player can take zero in a in a good match either. I'm hoping that Jangbi wins just uh, because, like I said, I'm a zero fan. I'm hoping Jangbi wins. Oh, fail at hatchery blocking by Jangbi. I'm hoping that Jangbi wins just because ZVZ can kind of be crazy and you never know what's going to happen. So it's probably more likely that Firefist could beat Zero um, just by getting a build order win in a ZVZ or something like that. <clears throat> Zero has very strong ZVZ though, so I'm still confident he could beat Firefist. But I just, I just feel a little bit more secure if it was Jangbi who was playing against. Um, anyway, um, looks like Firefist going for a pretty standard build, uh, Jangbi also going for a normal expansion. Uh, hopefully he has he puts his wall together correctly when this game when, when this map first came out people were being really dumb about their walls and so yeah so now he's making a really nice wall there that's a good wall uh, people were being really dumb about their walls in ZVP and or PVZ rather I guess I should say and <clears throat> they were leaving these big gaps with like one zealot there and it was just so easy for people to run by that gap um, because it's such a wide choke so now people have wisened up and uh, decided to actually put more stuff in that choke to make a a, uh, a full wall. So it's good that we're seeing that from JB here. Um, Firefist also getting that expansion down at the six o'clock position, so he's going to go for a normal build, just get his three hatcheries, and that's that's an interesting spot. Oftentimes in ZVP, you'll see them make a hatchery at like a natural expansion of another base, so that they can secure that fourth base, that main of the other uh, expansion for later on. So it's interesting that Firefist has actually decided to go for the expansion near his base, um, which means it's going to be easier to protect that third base. He's going to be able to reinforce it quicker, and he's not going to get it picked off by an early rush. Um, you know, oftentimes Protoss players will punish them for having that base so far away by going out with a Dragoon Rush or early Zealots or something like that, and um, attacking way far away when they don't have much defense and there's a hatchery going down so that is probably part of why he's putting it in the th that third location is because he's not planning on a long game he's planning on going for some kind of an all-in here uh, three hatch hydra build or maybe four hatch hydra um, but yeah it looks like three hatch hydra for um, fire fist trying to just cheese his way past Jamie to get to that final match so he can try and pull out a ZVZ win to try and make it into the next round and um, and Firefist fail, epic fail. Oh wait, wait, maybe succeed. Epic succeed after fail. He gets that drone on the ramp to stop that scout from getting in. 
Um, he had those lings on his um, bridge so the probe could not get through to spot what's going on in his base, spot that Hydra den, um, and spot the lack of lair. But um, he luckily got a drone. He realized his mistake and got a drone on that on that ramp after all. The lings are now chasing that probe around, but he's got Hydras out. He's relied the Hydras up north. If that probe spots the Hydras, the probe spots the Hydras, the probe spots the Hydras. He's probably going to put down cannons. He's going to spend every bit of money he has now on cannons. He needs to get a bunch of cannons up right now. He's only got a single cannon, and he could go in and take pick off that cannon, and then he'd be in huge trouble right now. Uh, Firefest attacking. He's got six or seven Hydras now attacking right now. And, and several Zerglings as well. He's got a few Zealots which are going to help him hold things off. Um, he really needs to go in. And I guess Hydra range isn't upgraded yet because he hasn't going in yet. Here he goes in finally. He's going in with the Zerglings. The Zerglings are going to occupy the Zealots. The Hydras go after the cannon. The first cannon goes down. There's still a second cannon. The Zerglings are all dead. So it's just Hydras versus Zealots now. And if Hydras are forced to fall back, he doesn't quite have a critical mass of Hydras yet to pick off Zealots quick enough um, to really do enough good to, to push in there. Temporal Archives is up now, and look at this. Oh man, all the Hydras have been rallied to the front, so this first Corsair that's coming out now is going to be able to do massive uh, damage to his um, infrastructure by killing off Overlords, and he's going to be able to, he's not going to be able to bring all of his Hydras to the front because he's going to have to divert a few, a few to attacking those um, Corsairs. Yeah, so a few are left at home, and now he does have the Hydra range now, so he's going to be able to assault those that gateway and that forge, but the Templar Archives is up. I don't think, is he going to be able to get a DT out before the gateway goes down? If he can get a DT out, that would be huge, but there still is one Overlord next to the Hydras. If he can pick it off, is the DT going to get out? No, the gateway goes down. He's building more gateways in his main base right now. He's building more cannons before that forge dies. So right now, what he has is what he's got. Um, uh, <laughs> obviously, but I mean, he doesn't have, and he's moving out with some speed zealots, actually. He managed to research speed in the meantime. And that forge is still uh, there. Finally, he picks off the last of the forge. But he doesn't have... He's just getting more gateways up, so he hasn't been able to produce more units. The forge is down, so he's not able to produce more cannons. He's counterattacking with these zealots, though. And I don't think Firevest has anything to deal with this. He's just got a few hydras as a main. He should know. He saw the zealots moving out. I don't know why he doesn't have a sun colony or something there. He's having to fight with drones. Drones blocking for the single hydra that's left. He's having to pull his hydras back to his base now. He needs to do something to, to keep those drones alive, though. He can't just let the zealots pick them off. Um, Corsair now in the mix as well. He's got DTs on the way as well. So Jangbi has just taken a huge lead. He's held off the rush. And... Um, Firefist is not doing the best job of protecting his drones, so um, not doing too well there. Yeah, look, he's <laughs> losing more drones. Finally kills off those zealots, though, um, but lost several drones in the meantime. Now he's got this group of hydras around, but there's High Templar out. Storm is probably still researching, but there's enough cannons, I think, to hold off that many hydras. So Jamie saw that attack, built a bunch of cannons. I don't think... If he hadn't counterattacked with those zealots, I think that that Firefist would have had enough to go in there and kill off all those cannons, actually. Um, it's hard to tell, though, because he did have the speed on the on the Zealots. So nicely played by Jangby. I'm honestly not sure how he managed to get so many Zealots out and so much tech and so many cannons all out at the same time in order to counteract that 3-Hatch Hydra build. Um, anyway, he's still in a little bit of danger. There still is a solid group of Hydras and Lings there that he has to worry about. But, oh man, he's got so few drones that um, he's not able to produce a ton of units right now. Um, just now getting a second gas. So Firefest trying to drone up is what it looks like and play a little bit defensively. Uh, DT is now out, um, trying to hide from that Overlord running across the map. And he's running down to that 6 o'clock base, which he knows is there. He spotted that hatchery earlier. And, oh, there isn't. there's a single Overlord there. There's an Overlord there. It's speed upgraded. Um, but the Corsair chases it off. Are the Hydras going to be able to save that Overlord? The second Overlord is coming in, so the DT is not going to be able to kill off that base after all. Otherwise, that DT could have come in and killed off so many, killed off, well, theoretically a lot of drones, uh, and at the very least forced the drones to run away so that they couldn't uh, be mining there. He's got a lot of drones as natural and as third. Not that many in his main, though, uh, but he has a, a significant amount of drones now, so he's he's got a, a good economy going, and he's got another hatchery down as well. So he's going to have six hatcheries here pretty soon. He's just going to mass hydras, which um, we just saw did not work terribly well for... Uh, what am I talking about? Um, <laughs> just, 
Sorry, I was thinking of the game versus Hwashin, but I, I was thinking about the game versus Hwashin, but mixing it up with uh, Zero's game versus Jamie. It did work well for Jamie, uh, for Hwa Zero, rather. God, it did work well for Jamie.